In this video, we'll look at the number of valence electrons for chromium, that's CR. So when we look at the periodic table for the main group elements, we see that group one, we have this nice regular pattern, one valence electron in group one, all these elements in group two. But then in general chemistry, we tend to skip over these transition metals here, sometimes called the D block elements. Right here, this is chromium here. So it's in the transition metals. Then we have group 13 through 18, each one of these groups, group 13, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, group 18 has 8 valence electrons. But for transition metals, it's a little bit more difficult. Let's look at the electron configuration for chromium. So the electron configuration for chromium, it's a bit of an exception. So this is one you'll see quite often in chemistry. Chromium doesn't follow the normal pattern. If you need help with that, there's a link in the description how we came up with this electron configuration. The point here is that we're looking for the valence electrons for chromium. So we could look at the noble gas before chromium. So chromium's 24, so we'd look for right here, argon, 18. So we could put brackets around those 18 electrons, and that would be the core notation for argon. Then we could write a condensed notation, and that would look like this. So once we've done this, now we can figure out the valence electrons for chromium. We look at the core noble gas configuration, and outside of that, we have these electrons here. These are the valence electrons. So we have five plus one. That gives us six total valence electrons for chromium. So to recap, we found the condensed notation, and then we looked outside of that to figure the valence electrons for chromium. Let's take a quick look at what that means for chemical bonding. So even though chromium has six valence electrons, as a transition metal, it doesn't have to use all of these valence electrons when it bonds. We can use different numbers. So we end up with these different oxidation states for chromium. So for example, chromium could lose three valence electrons and become chromium three plus. And that electron configuration would look like this. So it lost three valence electrons. In the S, we lost one and two from this D5. And that would give us this chromium-3 ion here. And since it's a transition metal, it could lose different numbers of valence electrons. So the point is that it's a little more difficult to find the number of valence electrons for transition metals because they can lose different numbers. But if we look at the electrons outside that core noble gas notation, that's a good way to do it. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.